Effect consciousness refers to an individual's ability to consciously perceive, tolerate, reflect upon, and express effects. These four abilities are operationalized as degrees of awareness, tolerance, emotional, nonverbal, expression, and conceptual, verbal, expression of each of the following nine effect categories. 1. Point interest slash excitement. 2. Point enjoyment slash joy. 3. Dot fear web link. 4. Point anger slash rage. 5. Point shame slash humiliation. 6. Point sadness slash despair. 7. Dot envy web link. 8. Point guilt slash remorse. 9. Point tenderness slash care. The Effect Consciousness Interview, ASI, Monson and Others, 2009, a semi-structured interview, is used to evaluate an individual's effect consciousness. The ASI evaluates the individual's awareness, tolerance, emotional expression, and conceptual expression of each of the nine effect categories are evaluated using a nine-point effect consciousness scale, ACS, the most current version contains 11 effect categories. At Continue a person with a low level of effect consciousness is expected to be unable to make sense of both his or her own feelings and the emotions of others, and to have difficulties attributing causes for his or her own and others' behaviors. A person with high ACK is expected to make sense of both his or her and others' emotions. Conversely, a person with a high level of effect consciousness is expected to be well able to understand, interpret, and reflect upon both his or her own and others' emotions. Clinical Applications adult attachment. Lectures and others research found a correlation between scores on the effect conscious scale and adult attachment style. High effect consciousness was associated with secure attachment style, and low effect consciousness was associated with insecure attachment style. The ability to experience and respond to others' effects seems to contribute to the development of a secure attachment style. The relationship between an individual's level of effect consciousness and attachment style may have implications in psychological treatment at changing maladaptive affective and relational patterns. Children. The effect consciousness interview requires the individual to have a relatively well-developed vocabulary in order to express and organize his slash her own and others' emotions. Consequently, effect consciousness interviews are not relevant to clinical work with children. Effect consciousness, as measured by the ASI, presumes a wide specter of verbal ability. This requirement for a developed vocabulary might be difficult to find in children, especially those seeking psychological treatment. Effect conscious measures will not have the same therapeutic benefits in children as they do in adults. Effect consciousness is a predictor of psychopathology. As noted by Saul Buchanan, others, the global effect consciousness scores, overall mean of all aspect scores across effects, are strongly correlated with all the relevant measures of psychological dysfunction. Effect integration, operationalized through effect consciousness constructs, and measured with the ASI and ACS, at different levels are stable correlates of psychopathology and psychological dysfunction. Mentalization it has been suggested that effect consciousness and the concept of mentalization partly overlap, however, there are several noted distinctions between the two concepts. First, compared to mentalization, effect consciousness places more emphasis on the explicit, conscious awareness and expression of effect states. Second, mentalization theory argues that effects develop in a relationship, primarily between the mother and the infant, while effect consciousness theory focuses on the individual's own perception and organization of his or her own effects.